right outside right now. Let's take it out. Lulu. Lulu Kadoodoo. Come on, Lucy. Grass is getting a little long here. Um, it's not that hot out right now. It's humid though. Come to Houston, you'll see how humid it is. Um, we got kind of weird kind of birds, weird kind of insects. We're kind of everything out right here. I do like it though. I do. I like Houston. Come on, Lucy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I crack my eggs 101. <laughs> um, how to get the egg white out. So I take the egg, it's over a little bit. Take the corner, the answer's the same. Hit it, and then I use the bottom of the fork. I just make a little slit in the there. And I just take the knife or the fork. I did get some shell in there. And I get to all the egg whites. Once it stops coming out, just toss it. All right, just about to run off to the post office, gonna go drop off some mail. Um, after that, going to get my sister. Um, well, I did some emails this morning. Um, track my breakfast, oatmeal, eggs, eat the same thing. I'm not picky about it. It don't bother me if that I eat the same thing. I don't really get mad about it. I actually enjoy eating the same breakfast every day. But uh, going to be going, yeah, dropping these off at the mail. And then training afterwards. I already got my plan for today. Currently, um, still going off a split. I've been going off for a while. It's like a four day split. Lots of abs incorporating this. Want to strengthen my core. And I can strengthen through squats and deadlifting and all that. But I want a separate day for abs. Um, today will be delts and uh, abs. So, gonna head off. It's a four day split, too. Just about to head out to get my sister and, um, then come home, cook up some chicken, guys. Let me focus this in for you guys. Little update on work. I haven't updated you guys on a few things, so this is going to be the update. Um, as far as work goes, and um, working at 24 Hour Fitness as a trainer, that's been the goal. It's kind of hard to get out of here. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, pausing every time I talk. But, uh, yeah, that's been the goal. But as of lately, it's been taking forever. I mean, I still want to work there. It's the biggest gym around here in Houston. And I still want to work there as a trainer. But they've been looking at my paperwork. They've been, they just now did the background check. Thought they did it a while back, but I guess now they did it. And all I'm doing is sit back and waiting. Bored, because I like to be in work. I mean, yeah, I have clients, I have, you know, things on my website, tons of stuff I can do, but I want to get to work, man. You know, I want to start doing clients in the gym. I want to start working with clients one-on-one, -on -one. but I mean, it's a little frustrating. I mean, the income is not coming in as much as, you know, as you could with working. It's making a lot more money. But, I mean, it's just a waiting game right now. Um, <laughs> but, uh, as of that, um, as far as school goes, college, uh, you guys know I was going to school, did most of my vlogs going to school, and um, plan on going to a university. Because right now I have 53 credits. Um, the school of choice, as you guys see, you guys always see me wearing, wearing it right now. Longhorns, Texas Longhorns, which is about in Austin, Texas, about two, three hours away from here, from Houston. But that's always been my dream ever since I've been little, since I was little, to go there. And uh, just because I've seen the school, I've seen their football, their, you know, the school's beautiful as far as I've seen like pictures and online, um, great classes, everything I've heard, nothing but good stuff from University of Texas, a really good school. And that's been my dream. It's been a dream since I was little. So 
Uh, that's why I want to get back into work. I want to start getting money before I would have to go to school because I'd have to live on campus, finish up my time as an undergraduate, and then probably go for a graduate degree. Um, but going, get my bachelor's there, and then uh, we'll go in as a graduate. Rates kind of go cheaper, college goes cheaper. Um, but yeah, guys, want if I could go there, I'd be on campus. Um, big, that'd be a big change. Living with a roommate, and uh, that would be in January or December for the spring. Whenever I gotta look when their uh, spring semester starts, and uh, I'd be back in school. Something I really want to do. I'd have to find a job on campus, of course. Um, but that's the update on that. I mean, there's like University Houston, which is like 20, 30 minutes away from here. But I want to go to UT. It's a big dream. I want to make it a possibility, a realistic thing. So, I mean, we'll see what happens from here on. But uh, the goal, UT, um, start working, get raise money before I go to college, wherever I go, wherever I choose, whether it be to commute or live on campus, and uh, just get it done. Got these beautiful brats my mom made. About to cook up this bag of chicken breast. Has I think 24 grams of car or of protein, not carbs. Uh, zero carbs and fat. This thing's getting hot. The sizzler. Look at it. Why do you think she cries in the morning? Got herself three servings of salad with some bacon bits and uh, honey mustard. Gonna be after our chicken's done cooking, we're gonna have a chicken sandwich. On a protein right bread. here I have my one chicken breast I'm about to eat I got four in here so I can just eat these whenever just microwave them up and uh, I'm gonna eat this on a not a pizza wrap but this one behind the counter I hope that was enough fold it protein wrap um, 10 grams of proteins in these um, 7 grams of dietary fiber, so it has 17 carbs total, but then you take that off, it only has 10 carbs, 10 grams of carbs, 3 fats, and 10 protein, so lots of protein, um, can I have some uh, yellow onions with this, tomatoes, um, and probably some hot sauce, or avocado too. So here we got our chicken breast, um, some white tomatoes, 22 grams, uh, Roma, <laughs> onions, Roma tomatoes, and uh, barbecue sauce, Texas half a serving and Texas barbecue sauce. A protein wrap. Last thing we eat is uh, two crumble corn rice cakes with a banana. I think it was like 106 grams of banana. With this sugar free syrup. 35 calories, zero fat, uh, 11 grams of carbs per serving. But I did half a serving. So I just got out of the shower like a minute ago, done with my workout and everything. Um, sorry about the darkness, guys. Uh, but everyone's gone. Get out. No one's here. So I'm kind of wondering where they went. My sister gone. I wrote this like uh, yesterday. What's cooking good looking? Um, I'm about to actually cook right now some dinner and uh, try to figure out where everybody went. This will be my last meal today. Um, this has been like kind of a full day of eating for you guys. I haven't done one of these ever. I mean, I've done most of my meals, but I've never done a full day of eating. So this is cool. So first off, I'm going to finish off this. This was that smoothie from yesterday. Uh, the macros carbs are so high up in these smoothies. The, uh, the orange and banana. This has like 110 for the full thing, but this is less than a quarter of it. So it won't be as much, 
but I put in my macros at Arizona. I was like, okay, I'm gonna drink all this. See, you know, first how much uh, calories are in it. Put in there. Um, I decided I'm gonna only drink like three fourths of it because it's in the morning, straight after my workout, and you get that quick digesting carbs, quick sugars into your muscles after a workout. So thus far, I have uh, 1,205 calories left. And look at all this food. It depends on what your food choices really on how much you can eat. I mean, not these are all like dinner. Snacks, breakfast, lunch, I, they're really out of order. But you can eat more depending on your food choices, guys. You don't have to starve. So my goal is 162 grams of protein, but I got 87 uh, totally, so I got 75 left. Carbohydrates, 158. I went over my fiber. I think that was wrong. I think they got the caramel cakes, the uh, rice cakes, a little too high in fiber. Uh, 158 left. That's a lot of carbs, but I haven't had in that smoothie. Um, fat's 29, which isn't bad, probably going to be having, that's what's left for today. Um, I'm going to be having a sweet potato, I'm going to measure out one of these out of this bag. Uh, maybe a chicken and vegetables, and then, um, possibly a protein shake later on. Um, it's just how, like, fitting in my macros, going to be having the sweet potato with peanut butter to get those fats in, and carbs with this, uh, sweet potato, so... Probably won't even go 158 grams of carbs because I think that's a little. I think I've been too high on my carbs. I think I'm gonna lower them really soon. But I'm glad I hit a new weigh in at 180.2 today. Um, that's really good. Uh, especially, you know, I said we want to get down into 160 um, slowly, but that's a lot. A lot of it's water weight, carbs, um, sodium, holding on, retention of water. But we're gonna get there. Our goal, we're gonna reach it. So guys, what I do in order to fit my sweet potato into my steamer, because it's a little small, not a room, um, cut it up, take the whole sweet potato, cut it up in little pieces. Um, I filled it up with water, going to have that as our carb source, going to be having a, another veggie with this, because I love, I just love eating, um, not by taste, I'm not 100% like, oh, I'm, I'm like, if I had a cheat meal, definitely wouldn't be spinach and sweet potato and chicken, but... I do enjoy eating this way. It makes me feel good. Um, ooh, I almost dropped that. But it's just overall the way I like to live. Um, carbs. Love carbs. Here we got our frozen spinach. It's three servings worth. It's actually a lot. I'm going to be cooking on a saucepan with some uh, frozen, not frozen anymore, but uh, uh, chicken breast. Around four ounces of chicken. And we're going to have the sweet potatoes, and that's how we're going to finish probably off our calories for tonight. Here we got our chicken that we cooked up, but throw those spinach in there, then we got to filter it out. It only takes like three minutes to cook up the chicken. Do this in a Betty Crocker. Okay. Got all our chicken breast, each one's four ounces. Got our sweet potatoes steaming up. Look at the moper. Knows her name. Moper. Moper. I think she's so lazy, man. She's the laziest dog I know. Chicken and spinach is done. And then uh, a little bit of hot sauce. The Louisiana. Salsa picante. Pull my heart out of my chest Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out then fill the hole Tear me apart